inspiration is all around us. It comes from the biggest and smallest things we may notice in the world. One such instance is reptiles. These industrious little fellows have adapted over the years with evolution to solve multiple problems, and scientists have looked to reptiles for inspiration and guidance. This is Engineer's Muse, and today we are going to look at how reptiles have inspired multiple real-world solutions. The first reptile is one many of us fear, alligators. These surprisingly nimble swimmers have scales which work as armor. The scales overlap to create a composite system that stiffens under load to provide against injury. The scales distribute the force to neighboring scales. Researchers from BMW Group would use this technique to create protective clothing for their employees. Another reptile, the mighty lizard, has a host of tricks, but we will only look at one in this video. Their super sticky feet have always had humans wondering how they work. Now we know. With their adhesive feet and a keen manipulation of molecular bonds, geckos can climb vertical walls with ease and can even hang upside down from surfaces. They do this by exploiting van der Waals forces. Van der Waals forces are relatively weak intermolecular forces that are dependent on the distance between atoms or molecules. Van der Waals forces are the interaction between uncharged atoms or molecules, creating a loose attraction. By using millions of minuscule hairs on their feet, each of which can orient in a certain direction and be attracted by the van der Waals force, geckos can create a powerful, but also reversible adhesive force. With this knowledge, Stanislav Gorb, a Kiel University zoologist, created silicone tape that could easily hold a full-size adult hanging from the ceiling. Gorb's work would lead to the commercialization of gecko tape. The last reptile we will take a look at is snakes. Engineers have created a robot that can stably climb large steps and advance that may lead to better search and rescue robots that can successfully navigate treacherous terrain. Chen Li, assistant professor at Johns Hopkins University, said, We look to these creepy creatures for movement inspiration because they're already so adept at stably scaling objects in their day-to-day -day lives. Lee and his team studied how the variable king snake, normally found living in both deserts and pine oak forests, climbed steps in the lab. The researchers ran multiple experiments, changing step height and the step's surface friction to observe just how the snakes contorted their bodies in response to these barriers. They found that the snakes partitioned their bodies into three sections. The front and rear body of snakes wriggles back and forth in the horizontal steps like a wave, while their middle body section remained stiff. As the snakes got closer and onto the step, the researchers found that the three body sections traveled down each body segment. When the steps got taller and more slippery, the scientists said the snakes would move more slowly and wriggle their front and rear body less to maintain stability. After analyzing the videos and noting how snakes climb steps in the lab, the scientists created a robot to mimic the reptile's movements. At first, the robot snake struggled staying stable and often wobbled and flipped over. Then, the scientists inserted a suspension system into each body segment so it could compress against the surface when needed. With the suspension system installed, the snake robot was less wobbly, more stable, and climbed steps as high as 38% of its body length, with a nearly 100% success rate. Scientists will continue to look at reptiles for more solutions as new problems present themselves.